Let's talk about Freedom Boat Club. To not waste your time, I imagine there's only two questions that probably brought you to this video. Number one, what does it cost to join and belong to Freedom Boat Club? And number two, is Freedom Boat Club right for you? The first thing I will cover is the cost. Because if someone who was actually affiliated with Freedom Boat Club was right here talking to you, which I am not, that is probably what would be on your mind. What does it cost? And for many of us, that's the most important thing. You can just stop watching this video after this section if the dollars and cents don't add up for you, right? Let's get to cost right away. Right now, in my area, they're running a special. And here's the initiation fee. This fee is sort of your down payment or upfront cost that you have to pay to become a member here in Maryland. And here are the monthly payments after that. This is what you have to pay each month after you join in my area to be a member of Freedom Boat Club. They also have a slightly cheaper option if you only want to boat on weekdays, which means you can't use the boats on weekends. And here's the monthly fees for that. In your area, prices might be quite different. So if you are in any way interested at this point, go check out their website and you may be able to find what the pricing structure is like in your area or special offers they have right now in your area. If the price is too high and it scared you away, that's fine, I totally get it. Please be sure to give this video a like and comment down below to let me know really what the problems you had with regards to Freedom Boat Club. But if you haven't been scared away, let's talk a little bit more about the details and see if Freedom Boat Club is actually right for you. I'm gonna break down the costs and see how it compares to boat ownership. And then I'll cover some of the real positive benefits of boat clubs and then some of the negative aspects of Freedom Boat Club. One important consideration is your ability to store and transport a boat. For example, I can keep my boat right here in my yard and my boat ramp is a block away. But if you live somewhere more urban, like here or somewhere like this, or if you live here, your options for storing and launching a boat are much more limited and probably quite costly, which can make a boat club quite appealing. And if you're considering buying a new boat where you're gonna be financing a boat, let's say you were to buy a brand new boat, like this particular boat right here, for basically $45,000, which is very similar to some of the boats Freedom Boat Club has. And if you were to finance this boat at 4% interest for 15 years, your payment every month would be $332.86, which is only about $50 less than what your monthly fees would be with Freedom Boat Club. What it seems to show is that unless you're buying a really cheap boat and do all the work yourself, Freedom Boat Club is probably a cheaper alternative, especially when we look at future years because the big initial fee is only paid at year one. And if you were to buy a boat, your maintenance and repair costs are gonna go up. But you might think to yourself, if I buy a brand new boat after the 15 years, I own that boat outright versus just paying Freedom Boat Club. But what you have after your boat is paid off is a 15 year old boat that probably needs new upholstery, might need some engine work, maybe a couple of gel coat repairs, and at best, maybe that boat's worth $15,000. 
Of course, paying the club's monthly fee for the six months you aren't boating isn't any fun. But anyone who is financed to boat is also making payments on that boat in the off season. Going back to that loan calculator, you've spent over $60,000 and that's not even counting maintenance, repairs, and storage fees. And in a way, that big initiation fee is sort of like the down payment you would be making if you were financing a boat. I mean, I guess really for a person who would like to go boating in a newer boat without having any hassles, belonging to something like Freedom Boat Club can be a lot cheaper and certainly easier than buying one outright. Because other than the monthly dues, all you're paying for is the fuel that you use. That's it, just the fuel. Which, if you had your own boat, you'd be paying for fuel too. Okay, I think I've covered the cost aspect pretty thoroughly. So what are some of the other positive benefits of belonging to something like Freedom Boat Club? They're a club with a lot of locations in the US, Canada, and even France. Over 300 locations means it's important to make sure one is near you, but also there could be locations where you might plan to travel. My main home port for Freedom Boat Club would be just across my river. And they also have locations in Baltimore and Annapolis and even Washington, D.C. How cool is that? Like I could go to Washington, D.C. and take a boat out for the day. Now I know from here, for me, to go up to Baltimore is a couple hour of boat ride. So that's quite a bit of fuel just for me to be able to boat around Baltimore. However, with them having a location there, as a member, if I wanted to, I could reserve a boat in Baltimore and take that boat out for the afternoon. And if you're traveling for work or for vacation, as a member of Freedom Boat Club, you also have limited access to boats at any other location. So for example, San Diego, Miami, Chicago, whatever. And if you've ever dealt with or thought about the challenges of trailering your own boat to a vacation destination, wouldn't the vacation be much easier if you could just hop in a boat when you're at your destination and all you have to pay for is the fuel? That's a pretty huge thing if you ask me. But as with anything, there are also some negatives. Freedom Boat Club is not for everyone because paying X amount of dollars per month, all the time, to have access to boats for some people is simply not in their budget. And they definitely do have some restrictions with regards to the usage of their boats. For example, you can't use their boats after sundown or before dawn. And as I mentioned earlier, they only have so many boats per location. For some people, that's going to be a deal breaker, and I get that. It's also not for you if you just plan to go out fishing periodically in a small boat. Because you can just buy a small boat a whole lot cheaper than it would be belonging to Freedom Boat Club. Plus, you can take it out before the sun comes up and be out there catching the fish early in the morning. And if you're someone like me, where my marina is literally just a block from my house, my marina fees are negligible, I can store my boat in my yard, and I use older boats that do need a lot of work, unfortunately, but my yearly costs are maybe $100 a month, and that's much less than what I would spend belonging to Freedom Boat Club. And because I have water access and my boat is a block away, I can literally walk down to my boat after dinner and within five minutes be out on the water. If I was a member of Freedom Boat Club, my nearest Freedom Boat Club location is over a half an hour drive away. Anytime I wanted to take a boat out, I would have to be planning ahead to drive somewhere. I can't be nearly as spontaneous as I can having a boat right here. As I get older and I don't want to do the maintenance and repairs to our boat anymore, I may consider something like Freedom Boat Club. Maybe I would just keep a tiny boat or two here in my yard. And anytime we wanted to go out on a bigger boat or a nicer boat, we would use a Freedom Boat Club boat. So maybe someday it might be right for me. So what do you think about Freedom Boat Club? Be sure to put your comments below. And here's another video that I think you should check out. It looks like a real good one. Yeah, it does. Check it out.